Okay, so this is the area where we bring all the sashes, having established what needs to be done to them. They're all lying up against the side here, ready to be worked on. And as you can see, Pedgeman in the background here is reglazing one of the sashes. There's about 100 pieces of glass to be fitted so far, there may be more. Um, and we do all of this in-house. We have our own tradesmen for all the various different aspects of work that are required. Okay, as you can see on this sash, the amount of damage that's been done from the nails that have been put through it in an effort to protect it is considerable. This will all have to be filled and all these nails are going to have to be removed and we'll have to do some routering down this edge to do some repairs. So yep. we'll just turn it over and see what happens on the other side. Okay, well as you can see here there's a big chunk of timber missing out of here. So I'm not quite sure. What do you think we're going to do with this, Phil? I'm going to have to scarf, scarf another fairly major piece of timber into there because we have to try and keep the original timber as much as possible. But that is quite bad. Some of this has been replaced already by the looks of it. Yep. Um, yes, I'd say right. these mullions have been kicked in. Cause that to snap and there's different mullions in there. Okay. So now we just measure the scarf bit of timber we need, which is, I would make 22. Now we just check it for the sectional size, which is right both ways. We'll just take a fraction over length. So you always make them a little bit oversized because we'll just sand it down once we've it's glued in. I think that'll be perfect. All right, yeah. I'm take out the old time. See, in the old days, we used to have to use PVA and you'd put this on and clamp it and you'd have to leave it overnight overnight so you had to repair you know 30 windows at once to keep it all now this enables us to do serious quick repairs this is why the gloves don't last too long that'll do